Hey guys, Marmalade here, of course, and I thought I'd do this quick update to kind of fill you on on what's going on and the changes I've had to make for my hike this year. Uh, let's digress. I'm going to try to make this as quick as possible, but basically you guys know I'm trying to finish the PCT. It's my fourth year back in, on trail in a row, and I was planning on doing 814 miles from the Mammoth uh, Red Meadow area uh, in, in the Sierras uh, north up to Ashland, Oregon. And you guys probably know if you follow the trail at all, um, another uh, tragic fire season. Uh, we barely got past two different fires near uh, Tuolumne Meadows and Yosemite and got past that. And that's where I've been hiking if you've been watching the videos lately and I haven't had smoke or any danger. But uh, the McKinney fire started up in Northern California from Etna on trail for 100 and, I don't know, 5 to 15 miles up to almost the California-Oregon border. And that's where I was going to hike through. So I've had to make some changes. So I have a couple things to tell you about my change of plans. I could go hundreds, three, four, five hundred or more miles, but as I looked at uh, my resupply points and the towns that I go through, I realized that it was going to be a very hard out. In other words, if I wanted to hike further into Northern California, um, A, I wasn't looking forward to hiking in the summer heat, but was willing to do it um, in August in Northern California. But it's going to be smoky and there could be some other fires to start but more than anything it was about trying to get closer to Etna and then have to get off trail and most of the towns were so small I wasn't going to have a good out to get out and to get to public transportation or a train or a bus or a rental car things like that so I had to think about uh, my plan so what I did was uh, I still have more videos coming out so make sure to watch I am in Portland Oregon right now so what happened was I hiked um, 254 miles from Mammoth Reds Meadow up to Truckee. And uh, those videos are still coming out. <clears throat> but I realized that Truckee was where to get out for me because there's uh, Amtrak and there's buses and things like that. So what I did over the last couple days was I took a three hour bus ride from Truckee to Sacramento. Then I sat in the train station from about five in the afternoon to midnight and the train was an hour late. So it was like one in the morning uh, like two days ago, I got on the train and um, on the 11th and took a train from basically 1 in the morning to about 5 p.m. into Portland. Uh, so from midnight all the way to late afternoon. And I'm blessed to be staying at a, a, a Trail Angel is hosting me. Uh, I'll give you the first names, Mike and Wendy. And when you see this, thank you so much. Um, Mike watches my channel. <clears throat> He's around my age and he originally was just going to... Uh, you know, just help me, uh, maybe pick me up and try to get me to, uh, I'll tell you the rest of my plans to get to me where I need to go. But as we talked and we kind of clicked, uh, he offered to let me stay for a few days and the, the rest is very welcome. So thank you guys very much. And um, so what the plan now is to, <clears throat> there's a couple of reasons why I'm doing what I'm doing. Uh, I'm gonna digress a little bit. The first thing is without uh, giving too much personal information, I kind of had a little bit of a health issue that really was worrying me and worried me on trail in the last, uh, I just did an eight day section from Sonora Pass, which is Canyon Meadows North. I did 140 miles in about eight days up to Truckee. And one of the days I had basically kind of a, a little bit of a medical situation and um, it's made me uh, rethink everything about uh, how much I want to risk while I'm out there. I'm gonna, when I get home, I'm gonna go see a doctor and see if I can figure it out, but it's something semi-serious. So I wanted to make sure I'm okay. The, the trail's not worth dying for and things like that. So that's as much as I'll share right now. If I choose to, I'll let you know exactly when I actually know what it is. <clears throat> I have a little bit of an idea, but when I know what it is, I'll, maybe I'll share that with you. But that was one reason why I'm, I'm shortening my hike. And remember I was going all, I was doing 800 miles. So I've done the 254. Um, so my plan now is kind of fun and I'm, I can't wait to kind of bring it to you, but I'm now, as I said, in Portland, Oregon and, uh, in a few days, uh, actually I think Mike and I are going to go out to uh, Timberline Lodge, which is, um, near the Northern part of Oregon, the border of Oregon, Washington. And we're going to hike from Timberline Lodge 50 miles <clears throat> on the PCT. So I'll do another 50 miles to Cascade Locks and the timing works out perfect to go to PCT Trail Days, which was not in my plan this year. So if you like my, my videos and you're planning on going to, to uh, PCT Trail Days and Cascade Locks, it's on the 19th to the 21st. Please, please, please come say hi to me. 
I love meeting people that uh, watch my videos because I really don't, a lot of people view, a lot of you leave comments, but I don't know what you look like or what you're like. So if you see me there, I'll wear my trademark hat. Uh, come and say hi. I would love to meet you. So that's the plan. I I've gone two other years, I think in uh, 2018 and 2019 and really, really enjoyed it. It's been, uh, 2020 was closed for COVID and last year was a decent turnout, but I think this is going to be the first year where it's busy again. So I'm going to do that and I'm basically going to, uh, call my hike for this year done. It'll give me, I think, 304 miles, which is anywhere close to what I was planning on doing. But um, the health scare kind of just made me realize and just reevaluate my life and, and what's important to me. I, I'm not quitting the PCT, but I think I'm gonna co keep coming back every year, but just doing, trying to do, you know, I gave it four long years to really try to finish and between the fires and all kinds of stuff, I haven't been able to, you know, finish it. I, I passed 1600 miles on trail a while back <clears throat> so I'll be almost exactly about a thousand miles to be done. So even though I've done a lot of miles, I'm quite a ways away from being done. So um, that's my plan. Uh, I'm taking a couple of rest days in Portland. We're going to try to get on trail and go do Timberline Lodge, the 50 miles, like I said, uh, to Cascade Locks, um, do trail days. And then uh, I may, may fly around or go adventure and see some friends and do some things, or I may go home and just chill before I have to go back to work and maybe relax at the beach. So that is my plan. Um, it's a mixture of just having enough. Uh, uh, my plan was uh, also when I was going to, I'm going to say this real quick. I was going to skip up the Timberline Lodge, do the 50 miles to uh, Cascade Locks, do trail days and keep going up to Stevens Pass, which I need that section. But it's 300 pretty hard miles, which I can no problem do. But I, uh, early on in my hike, I only have so much time off of work. Uh, we started out slow and I didn't have my trail legs and now I'm up to bigger miles, 20 plus miles a day, but I'm behind schedule when it comes to trying to finish that section. So I don't even want to really get in there and attempt it. Again, have the really hard ways to get out of there and get back home. So <clears throat> this year is going to be a little bit 300 miles. I'm going to have a lot of fun. I want to, I'll do a video for uh, trail days and bring that to you. And I just can't wait to um, get back on trail, do a few more miles, but also just meet a lot of the few hikers this year that are going through doing the whole trail. And just hopefully meet some of you that uh, like my videos. And um, if you're going, let me know. Maybe leave a comment down below, but I'm looking forward to it. And that is it. I want to let you know what's going on. And uh, please continue watching all the videos. I have a lot more coming. Um, I'm way, uh, when I'm making this video, I'm way ahead of where I've posted videos so far because I got behind a little bit on trail. There was no service. So make sure you keep watching. <clears throat> and I also filmed the three days uh, doing that 50 miles, three or four days doing the 50 miles to Cascade Locks. I'm going to go by uh, Tunnel Falls and some really pretty places. So I can't wait to show you that. And then of course, PCT trail days. So that's it for now. Thanks for listening and um, leave your comments. Let me know if you're going to be there. I'd love to meet you. And uh, a lot of you guys have, uh, fictitious names on your YouTube. So let me know what your name is and I'll look for you when I get there. So that is it. Thanks for listening and we'll see you down the trail.